Hello everyone, my Dream It Achieve It family. Welcome to another fantastic and of course you already know it's an exciting episode of Dream It Achieve It guys. We're almost you know, wrapping up the year 2023 and we'd like to know some of the things that you have learned on Dream It Achieve It guys. We're always providing you with local entrepreneurs, inspiring you guys and motivating you guys and as part of um, the normal responsibility of Dream It Achieve It, always showing you guys that it can be done. Today we are in the Lubombo region on location guys here to meet up with one of our local entrepreneurs in the kingdom of Eswatini Kamalake, Umakosa Zalem Gomezulu. She's a farmer by nature, guys. She's here to tell us more about her business. And of course, she's not just any farmer, guys. She recently won an award, which is Woman Youth Farmer of 2023. So it's so exciting for us as Stream It Achieve It team to be here talking to her about her business and, of course, the things that she wants going forward with her business, guys. So let's find out, you know, more about Makosa and, of course, how the conversation went today as we're here to learn more about her business. <laughs> Okay, Dream It, Achieve It family, it's a beautiful day, Gashe Ula Slete, with one of our local entrepreneurs, of course, as per norm, her name is Makosa Zanem Gomezulu, just Kazilaga Bandige about her business, but if I do say so myself, I would like to call her a qualified farmer. She currently is standing or has an award as Women Youth Farmer of the Year 2023, so and when did she start her business, and what is she hoping to achieve, and also what are her dreams for her business, so here with me is Makosa Zanem Gomezulu. As per norm, guys, just to inspire you guys and to show you guys that it can be done. No more agriculture, no more fashion, whatever the case may be, whatever sector that you may choose to venture in, it can be possible if you put your mind to it. So let's meet Makosa Zane with me today. Unjan Makosa Zane. Thank you so much for inviting us into your own home and space. Jabula Klasa and now we got Dream It, Achieve It. Um, Kadun Kazida Gabandinje, a little bit more about you and your background. Guting Makosa Zane Wagabani, and where did you go to school? so we can understand and know you better. So my name is Marcos Zanem Gomezulu. I am 21 years old. Okay. I attended primary at St. Teresa's Primary School and then high school. I went to St. Michael's High School and then currently I am at the Twani University of Technology studying internal auditing. So 2020 after completing Form 5 in 2019. So guli mango tale because la kaya vile magena babeba solo balim bamfle babalima and I've always had an interest which I just didn't know I could do it. So 2020 bang la kaya I didn't get a scholarship for the course le bangfuna gui guienda because it was an SA. So I decided to use that time go kala glim. I wasn't sure if you know was hesitant, but I was like, let me just let me just do it. And then at Nangala, um, I had uh, great help from my parents, from my mom, my dad, uh, and then the Malimisi, they were there to help me. I'm actually doing this; it's working. I started loving it. I started being more focused and passionate. today. Farming can be versatile. So, Makosa Zane and Ulima in it because I'm sure there's a lot of things that you have ventured into seeing that Ukule Vele La Kaya Gulenya. Meaning, Lemma vegetables, baby vegetables, uh, your green beans, jam, baby marrow, um, tomatoes, cabbages, onions. Now, Lima Nimbil but mostly the vegetables. Basically, you started in 2020, and it's been like three years now. How would you say it's going so far? It's been a roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, I, I don't want to lie, because I have my challenges. We have the extreme uh, weather changes, climate changes. Because it's cool. It's so cool. It's so cool. It's Things that were unexpected. I would say, it's so cool. But it has been also amazing. Because I have had, I've made profits. You know, I've grown. I've had so much knowledge. Gained so much knowledge. And met so many amazing people. You know, who share the same passion as I. Yeah, 
It has been amazing, quite wonderful. What would you say inspired you to start, you know, farming? And as much as Okule Ukbona, but did you eventually grow to love it? Or was it something that you felt like I asengwendenyalogu nsenga gabi se skolo and nsamele scholarship sami? So how did the love of farming come about? Or was it something that you wanted to do because you just wanted to keep busy? No. Okay. So Gulima with me it started good see. My mom would always talk about careers. You see how all the parents be like, Oh, you grow up to be a doctor, yeah. to be this My mom would be like, yeah. You'd grow up with a plus little cool. You'd yeah. grow up you know, it was always at the back of my mind that oh I'd love that. Yeah. I'd love that. So I always knew that whatever path I would choose would be in the line of agriculture. It was always there for me. Yes. Now let's talk about you know the agricultural process. You know, umunfu maskulwa ngi umunfu kusu oyale ma we usually see the end result of it because se atenga yabon. So ngtelong kaze la gabande about just every process that you go through as a farmer, be it getting your seedlings. You know what is it that you need to do? And also there's soil preparation. There's manure. Can you tell me more about a typical danger in your life as a farmer? A typical day when it's like the plowing season. When when it's the, you know, manu I, I don't even know what to call it. I don't know what language you use, but it is in Neklanyel and this is in Nekvona, basically. Can you tell me more about that so we understand what it means to be a farmer? Okay, so my typical day yeah. of being a farmer, obviously, I'm a fan in a mom for Losa because yeah. I've, I have parents, La yeah. Bali yeah. So, um, one thing, Langa Shogutsuglima, if you want you first have to divide because yeah. crop rotation is very important yeah. and obviously yeah. so one thing that I always try to maintain before liquid yeah, so I try not to have a good one. But usually I, I rotate Lang Libacon. So obviously, we are Shagola. You prepare your land yeah. and then Ulime and meaning Nisa Lang a matrip. So usually, Akfani, Inkumbe Banisa Lang himself. So, what more seven son is Columba Lakai. So I wouldn't say go find a name for law. I am at an advantage. I do not want to lie. Um, Akfani gimi nemuntu who doesn't have these things. Yes, and um, ngingasha negoti usually ngiyanange balimi suko. So this is what is in season. Ngu logo 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 ngago at this period in time, or this is what is in market at this period in time. So can you tell me more about some of the things that you have learned, you know, in your business? Na logo tu uneba dali la baksita ngo that know very well la baku ulo kulenga ngo vile ukbona gwendega la kaya. So what would you say are some of the things that you didn't know growing up? Now that you know ngo baso ya lima, what would you say are some of those things? First and foremost, ah, being at the we have a competition in agriculture. <laughs> like, no, because you would plan ulime, yeah. and you you have the idea. Good, so this is how much I know it costs, and then you get to the market. It's saturated, and now the prices go down. So you know these are things that you more agriculture. You don't think about them. Yeah. So uh, agriculture is something that has to be strategic. Yeah. yeah, it's something that has to be strategic. You know, some things that I didn't know before. I'd be like, no, like it's too cold. Yeah. You know. It doesn't work like yeah, that. Yeah, there are yeah. things that you know, yeah. like no, you can't. Yeah. Already, you must rotate because otherwise, we're trying to fight pests yeah. and diseases. You know, yeah. so you you know, it's actually very strategic. It's not yeah. just something you just toss here and there. No, yeah. you need to plan. Yeah. You know, you need to plan and record so you can analyze your mistakes and not repeat those same mistakes. So, you know, I had to learn those things. It wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Yeah. Definitely been a beautiful conversation sitting down with Makosa Zane and learning more about her and of course her business. What about now we're going for a short ad break sitting with the Emma Tegangani. Most boy are here to find out more about, you know, go to Makosa Zane e business with Funze Gubi and of course we're here to meet up with her mother. So stay tuned, don't go anyway.
Segumnanzi ga kulu na mushala na gashe ula ngobanya lo sesfrele lfuba lo kusi sansa ni pasi na mage mgome zulu. E njonga abese na duguti makosa zane won an award for women youth farmer of the year 2023. And of course, tintambuge aga mani wati tata nje wati duonza ufunze kona kumagwa ke who was woman farmer of the year 2022. So kusho kuna kusi la kaya base minda ngekti kandla and futi baya shere shela na you know the knowledge and the skills that they need in order to make sure kusi ba kona kutuba i businesses. So stofa kaba ndige nga mage mgome zulu kus uva ganjani ena lo kus umfana ke so kone tata tintambo wenda le tibu kwa go even la gangwane mage unjani na mula nga pila nfo mpunjani wena nga pila na misa sile lige na mwako sazane wa stokte la gabanti nge biznesi ya keglima sifuna guva njogu tuena uva ganjani lo kus umfana ku una 21 ukonja so kone le guina ema awards and of course ungumtalu wake uyati wena kusu kamgapi how does that make you feel mage Hey, nchabla kakulu nvombi, nchabla kakulu. Uh, siya ngakufaga vile kila bandwa na kreshe bonga ane. Luglima, ngasengi abuga kakuti. Bonga nje, mbando kuna ako. Nengi abona kakuti, ay, makosa zane wabana ako luguti. Uyati misela kakulu. Na kala nje luglima, nga kala nga mniki poshini nye nile nga nila kaya. Walima watengi, so waibone maleta, ay. Iko ni mali, wase velu kila umtlabati luu ngati mkulu. Ngamfu mela ge walima ge, wabona luu taiki alimega. Ngasengi ya kwesha ge mnela kaya. Ili manje, kulinyi nsa ukasha nyani. Mbangbona kutu ingega kone kamba, skabali siti. Ngabona ufaku mfutu, wangitu na mbuya lila mbuya kone. Kanze kutusolu sinsimini. Sometimes the China in Epsilon say when Taulunya Tinyonga, Pisnema Piper, Cacamisa, and Nisela, Nisela, Tsang Tsangs, Tsang Sail Bopox at it all. For Lima, Liga, what I know what I, Namagang and Tatal Forming Fnangen and Joine, Government Farm Mag, Look Legwak was Nangen, Wang and Genetvan, Wag recruit telling youth, or good in Gene. Ah, what about Fuller Villela Banya or Bafunzisa, Wahamba, why research? Wayofuna kuguti baza megu kwende makowa. Wa tlangansi insha la kani kabangatuwa itlangansa kwa za wabaga tri. Mbanga figi la baba se research. Bamende la pasi veli. Ngangisho njalo njeti bamende la pasi apuna lukti. Banga bugi glima kutwani bende ni makowa. Banga figi lo mfana tuta ufiga. Banga figi wakina vele a. Akiva pili. Kwa tufake, on top of that, haka yege la angoba, solo ya ba kuruma, laba nilabasha. Ba iba tlanga nenje, ba kulu menle, tinza ba tabo. Baba nilabasha, ba funze sana, na kiti pata gale. Na bo HIV, kuse macha. Luku sinje, HIV, koni, COVID, kona. Kune engla ba nga kwenda, ba enda nara bo tinfo tabo tetingo ingo. Sometimes, ba be la petu le sonven, ba tlanga neze, iu, ba funze sana. Kwa shenje, ayi, Uyaba, uyaba kutata la banyila basha. Ngubona kukutle logo kukutu. Ashoto luklimi ya kutanza. Nasa krupa la banya bachela ngeklima. Abachela nangin bilo nje. Macha langa pante ulukuni. Kambe guva nje kuti umfisela eni umfana nje ngoba so uboni le kuti so usebenda ngekti kandla. Usasa eti nyatelo ndako gule biznis ya keye glima mflambe. Si tubega nje sato ngene mnage ndo mwusha ungabe ungasho kuti umfisela eni asa tubega. So si umfisela lo kutle ne kutsige agafage manla. Lagli men kune timkina mbata kom. Namtunga lima ulume gale kia saksa sangu storm kia nyamchela tongele tuti nvu nguo bangi na bo climate change lagi tunjeli sometimes lishe saka cool ukanza kisibo paper seba shile ngalani matamati sa shile wa what nvu leti nyere umchela wona tse likely men watu faga leli nyo wa tigo kuti kunenglo ngalanga na nao sometimes watu lime gale ukale pass. Tinvelis Bafonsi sat on a little cuckoo and an old nabo, a back phone, the logo good see. A man net. I have funeg, shorts and a macam, the mac green houses. I have funerals, you pushing and a lane manage, my father loads, no fingala, my lawyer sins. Cassia Boga, cool class at an hour, Maggie. Thank you so much. Yeah, Boga, cool nam vomb.
can you tell me more about some of the things? Maybe you're not going to tell me everything, everything, because I'm sure the list is endless. But what did you get in particular, you know, which is being Women Youth Farmer of 2023? Okay. But, um, like tang mangalisa ka call so beknel thange kunenjini kunema phaiphi kuna manyolo nenhlanyelo yempila and um lel thange nenjini ngisite ka call because i sing kulsil slima sam like I, I picked another piece of land an extra hectare lengati ukuthi into khona ku maintain so i'm actually growing things sithe ukuthi grow and that for me was amazing and manyolo yadul so they met me halfway you know helping me make the profit make the money so um i'm very grateful for that you know it's not just and there was a 10000 cash prize so uh, you know they just basically buy a booster as um, appreciating you for your work and boosting you at the same time and um they usually they say they put in place these training programs so that you get to learn more and you know different types of farming um there's another one that's going on at this point in time it's called the tunnel farming program and you know they they have that for us Balimilabasha, so to help us to just introduce us to new ways of farming and that for me is amazing honestly i think i i'm it's i'm very grateful to see um a foundation that's helping young people you know, in this process of of farming. Yes. Now let's talk about, you know, the business side of things, you know, given your title, given what you are now in the kingdom of Eswatini, when it comes to agriculture, did this in any way boost, you know, your business in terms of, did you get more people supporting you, more recognition, and also just the confidence to say that you actually are doing a good job. So can you tell me more about, you know, the end result after, you know, you got the award? Okay, uh, most definitely, um, it did boost my confidence a lot. Uh, I think, um, agriculture, you know, I know people, you know, they see the, the fruits that I bear. And um, when it comes to, you know, when I, I, I walk into, um, you know, your boxer and I'm like, I can supply this for you. You know, they actually believe that yeah. I can supply, you know, they know they are speaking to someone who can actually provide or who can actually produce Lembola Kolumangayu. And as for me, my market has um, for the longest time been numbered. Yeah. So because uh, I supply them in bulk and they do take in bulk and I have had a, a long-term relationship that I bought. But... The funny thing is, mm -hmm. I, I always have worked in a bank like Labatenga, um, Labatenga, Batang Sama Market. But I did not know how many people yeah. actually Batanga from farmers from the field yeah. until I won the stage and the people started calling me. Uh, are you her? Yeah. Uh, do you have this? Okay. I'm like, yes, I, I do. <laughs> Can I come? I'm like, oh, there's so many customers out there. Yeah. Much more than I actually thought. Yeah. You know, that that did help me uh, a lot in a business. Yeah, you know, more customers. And that for me is a great achievement yeah. and great recognition. I'm yeah. very grateful for that as well. Now, I want to talk about some of your highlights. We are currently sitting with a Women Youth Farmer of the Year, you know. So that is such a big award, especially when it comes to Eswatini, because we know that we are people labapila and subsistence farming. So to actually see a 21-year-old be able to receive that award, can you talk to me about, you know, um, what led up to that situation and what it means to you? At just 21 years old, there's people that have been in the agricultural business for a long time. So mm -hmm. can you tell us more about, you know, the whole process of being nominated and also how it made you feel and what it means to you? Um, first, I would say I did apply for the competition in 2022 okay. and I came second place. Okay. And um, I reapply for 2023. That's when I came first place. So what I did learn about 2022 is they taught us more. Would say being a farmer is more than just you know, you must inspire Nebamve Mangwen. There must be fruits. So what do you do for your youth? You know, and that was something that I didn't have as much the year before. So now I'm like, oh, it's more than just about me. 
you know, there are other people involved. And then I started being invested in getting to introduce farming and explaining this to more young people. And, you know, at first it was just like, oh, I need to do that as well. Yeah. But then once I started to interact, I realized that they're actually learning something from me. And then I, I started getting excited about it and doing it more. And um, cleanliness is very important. They were like, this is also another thing that is very important for Mlimi because, you know, you farm for the nation. People are yeah. going to, yes, this is going to markets, you know. Yeah. So now I, I started um, getting strong on those points. You know, they were very strong on recording as well so I, I started being precise on those as well and um, I see 2023 when I joined they came they interviewed me for all those things uh, and then I went for the competition I was I couldn't believe it I was amazed um, uh, because, you know, I was amongst a group of very hardworking, um, dedicated, strong women, you know, in, in just to be in their midst and to be chosen to represent them, to represent such strong, passionate women, women who, who you know, who go against the stereotype, or say, farming is for men, farming is for a certain type of people, you know, to just represent such powerful women was such an honor. I cannot begin to explain how honored I am, you know, to be to just be labeled yeah. as the woman youth farmer yeah. 2023 it is indeed such an honor yeah. so inspired you know because we're taking it back to the old ways guys to the traditional way of doing things that and of course this day is gonna male rather letting so we're so happy to meet up with Makosa Zane and of course to find out more about her business we hope that you know you guys were inspired of course as per norm you guys were motivated this is the last episode of 2023 and we ended it off in a bang guys we hope that you guys are going to start with your businesses anytime soon now please keep watching dream it achieve it guys we'll be back in 2024 with more inspiring entrepreneurial story covers until next time have a safe new year's crossing Mwah.